everybody. Welcome again to my basement studio. I'm Patty Ann. Hang on. Today I have a better setup in my studio down here for showing you the rulers that we're going to be selling or that we are currently selling at Beginnings Quilt Shop. The beginner set comes with this ruler, which I've shown you before. It has nice because it has a curved edge and a straight edge. And there's a lot that you can do with this ruler. And we will be having some classes to help you learn how to use this ruler to your best advantage. Another thing that we have that's coming up is there's a sampler ruler set. In this set you get six different rulers and here are some of the designs that you can do. Show from the back. And then of course there are helpful instructions inside. Again it comes with six different rulers and they're packaged in here. I'm not going to take them out individually because we'll learn more about that in future tutorials. But the one I have taken out is this one called the Spin Effects. Okay, this one right here. And I'm going to show you today what this Spin Effects ruler can do so easily for you and your quilts. So hang on, let's get started over there at my machine. Okay, for this video I'm going to do something just a little bit different. Rather than using the beginner uh, template that comes in the set with the curved edge and the straight edge. I'm going to use one that comes in that six pack just so you can see what it does. But remember, when we, if I was to be using this one and perhaps even just basting um, this sandwich together, the first thing I need to do is put my presser foot down and then lower my needle bring it back up to bring up the bobbin thread grab it okay and then I'm put the presser foot down always before you lower the needle because if you don't this ruler foot is a little higher than a regular foot and <clears throat> your needle will jam right into it so I'm not going to use this one I'm going to get out this one I need to bring that up and get that bobbin thread back out because I'm going to line this up in the center so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my presser foot down and then line my, put my needle right smack dab in the center. Bring it up and bring up my bobbin thread. Hopefully, there it is. Okay, there's my bobbin thread. And I'm ready to stitch, but I need to put that needle right down in the center again so I can get started there. Then I'm going to butt the center part of this ruler <clears throat> right up there into that little area. Now, this ruler is nice because it has lines here. Actually, there are lines all over the place, but the only two that I'm going to be using is the line that's here and the line that matches it in the back of the ruler, which is right here. And I'm going to line that up onto the marks that I've made on my block. So <clears throat> to start, I'm going to take a few stitches in place, then I'm going to cut off some of this tail here so it doesn't get in my way. See? And then I'm just going to begin stitching. And again, I'm going to line up the line that is on the ruler or the template that they're sometimes called to the line that I've drawn on my fabric. And just begin stitching slowly and carefully. Remembering that it's not a race. This is going to make a really cute little uh, flower that you can leave just as it is. Or if you like, you can embellish it with some further free motioning on it. But once I get back to the very place where I began, all I'm going to do is rotate my fabric all the way around like this and my template like this. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to line up this line on the template or the ruler again with the line I've pre-drawn on my fabric and just go around again using fingertips only, not pressing down because that's what causes issues. Just using my fingertips to glide this along or guide it along, not having any trouble whatsoever with my template sliding or moving even though I don't have any tape on the back of it or any of the grippy stuff. All the way back to the beginning again. Now, again, I could take and I could twirl my 
fabric around, but let's just say that you're doing a larger quilt than just this little square. You don't have to twirl your fabric. You can simply twirl your ruler or your template around, lining up the same line right here with a line that I've pre-drawn over there. Get this all lined up nicely, and then just begin stitching again, making sure that my ruler foot just stays up smack dab against my ruler or my template. So there's that one. And again, when I get done with this one, I could twirl my fabric and my ruler or just twirl my ruler around. Everything stays where it should be. It's locked into place. I just have to line up this line with the line that I've pre-drawn on my fabric. This is really easy and it's really fun. Again, I'm just going to go around. Now I could stop here and have a really cute flower with just four petals, but I've decided that I really would like to do an eight petal one. So to do that, I stop here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my template. I can, again, I can twirl or not. I'm going to line up the same line that I've been using with this diagonal line that I've pre-drawn. So that's going to have me doing a petal in between these two and kind of overlapping them just a little bit. There I go. Okay, again, I can just twirl my template. If I have a big quilt I'm working on, do the same thing. Just make sure that my ruler stays up against the ruler, the template. So that's two, so I need to do two more. I'm going to twirl it this time, although I didn't really need to, did I? I can do this, and I can check back here to make sure that line's lining up with that diagonal line, and I can just go from here. It looks lined up. There we go. This is my third one. And I'll have one more to finish my eight step flower. It's going to go right here. I'm going to line that up back there. Or I can twirl it, bring it here, and line up this line with my diagonal line. Do this. And then after this one's done, I get to. Use the little puzzle piece that you may have noticed and be wondering what it's for. Uh, suppose I want to do some more work around here and I don't want to break thread. How do I get this out of here? Well, very easily. That's what they made this little puzzle piece for. You just lift it up and you can just skinny that right, right out through there and it's done. And there is my eight star I'll just do a few stitches in place or not eight star eight petal flower cut my thread and I'll show you what it looks like isn't that pretty even the back looks nice so that's it and this one used the puzzle piece to get out I could just tape that right back into place it looks like a jigsaw puzzle and again I used Spin Effects number four ruler.